What's up, world? You already know what's going on. KK, and you're tuned in to another episode of KK's Corner. Gang, y'all already know what's going on. Got my boy down here with me today, man. Uh, Tyree, what's up? tell him what's up, gang. Oh, I gotta tell him what's up. I gotta okay, tell him what's okay, up. Okay. It's your boy, Tyree Spivey. T Y R H E E. It's a silent H, guys. Can't stress that enough. We good. Oh, you can follow me on the fake Tyree. Yeah, okay, cool. Out here, out here being out here, you know, Gang. just out here being out here, booming proud. Gang, so let me ask you, how long have you been a comedian for? I've been doing stand up for about 10 years. Oh, okay. I've been doing stand up for about 10 years. Uh, I was cutting hair for 10 years. At the, cutting hair, doing stand up at the same, like simultaneously. So, what I wanted to do was cut hair because I wanted to, not because, oh, I needed to. You know That's what I mean? Good. It's a whole different feeling. Yeah. Doing some shit because you want to versus you you gotta. You, you roll with a different energy. I didn't want to have that uh that angst, that yeah. on me. Because, you know, real shit, I'm saying you like this, rent equals stress. <laughs> you feel me? You hear me so, <laughs> so, I mean, I've been doing this for a minute. And, you know, I just started, I've been doing, like, songs throughout my life. Like, when I was, like, in high school and shit. But now it's being... It's being taken way more serious. Yeah. Way more serious. All right. So, what what got you into the music aspect? Um, I think I think what it was. I, I mean, I've always done music. Uh, like back in the day, while my friends, you know, make when they when Fruity Loops was like coming around and shit like that. But I feel like you know, with the with social media, with social media, I was thinking about how can I get my reach. Right. Well, how can I how can I reach the ears for people to see me? So for pe oh, okay. You, 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 you fuck with me though. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You fuck with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to play until you came back okay, in. Okay, yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. I will come after, right after this then. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> um, getting real love out here in these streets. You I'm getting my real boy, love man. in this. Cause they're about to play my track. Yeah, they're about to play my track. Yeah. What are we talking about? Up. Yeah, we outside. Up. Yeah. So go. I'm sorry. I've always been funny. I've been okay. funny all my life. You yeah, know what I, I mean? But I, I, but I didn't. I, I always knew that I wanted to be a performer. I didn't okay. see growing up me doing, um, you know, something. I wouldn't call it a regular job, right. but something that's you know more formal with yeah. you know working at a post office or a government job or whatever. Or, you know that just my wasn't people. my shit. My shit was making people feel good and making people feel happy and comfortable. Like I've always just, you know what I mean, just been that nigga. Some people don't fuck with it, that's cool. Right. But way more people fuck with me than don't. I love the confidence. So, so that's where I'm at with mine, you know what I mean? Like I know what I do. I know what I do, I know what I can bring to the table like with my, with my shit. So I was like, man, you know what? I'm gonna fucking start doing stand up. I started doing stand up 10 years ago. 2011. True to this, not new to yeah. this. You hear me? Talk to me. What are we talking about? Yeah. That shit gonna happen overnight, bro. Right? right. You have to really go through the bullshit. Yeah. You gotta go through it. You gotta go through it. My bad. No, no, you good, game. My fault. What was your um, favorite city you did stand up in? What city showed you the most love? I think my the, the best city, my favorite city, yeah. is probably like. San Diego. San Diego. San Diego. Because I'm from San Diego. Okay. So that's my city. You know what I mean? They show me love. I'm, I'm doing a show next month. Uh, I'm producing my own show. Yeah, you out here, so, man. You know, because as far as like, oh, hey, you can book me. But I, I wanted to, I know that nobody has, uh, like, I'm me. I'm me when I say this. Because I'm my only me. Right. Nobody. <laughs> I'm the only me. So nobody has my fucking charisma because it's mine. It's mine. I know what I can do. You know what I mean? So if I can give that people just something to take home, a little bit of authenticity, you know what I'm saying? Relatability, all that shit and fun, all that, like we lit, we having a good ass time, all wrapped in one. <laughs> What are we talking about? I was saying, you know what, bro? It's like, that's the best way to live life. Because it's kind of, I can't be bored and all. I can't. Straight up all day. You I get can't. what I'm saying? You got to crack a joke to keep the date Real going, shit. Baby. And you think about that. Music is the most powerful art form. 
yeah. out of all of them. That's why I wanted to do it because I knew that music was, uh, I mean, not saying that I will never stop doing comedy, but right. I want to do that as well. Let's right. let's bring these worlds together because I know that, uh, what, stand-up, there's, okay, look, it's like you're, you're an athlete, actor, um, what, I think comedian, uh -huh. dancer, all the, it, it, like, it's, it's a tear with that shit. Comedian's pretty much like we at the bottom. Don't nobody really respect nah, it. Nah, Real shit. At one point, nobody respected it. Now, oh, they love you. Yeah, you they love you. Hype. Oh, it's so much more hype. You know, you know what else probably play into that? Social media. Social like, media. Like, how do you feel like? Cause you know, you've been doing this for a while since about like 2010. So you've been doing this since. You know, you're true to this. Right. So how do you feel like social media really played a part in helping your exposure? Let me tell you something. Being a I didn't. I didn't even get funnier. I didn't get more vulnerable. I didn't get more comfortable until like on stage okay like i i'm not i'm gonna be 100 i was trash for a minute for because i was just trying to get it but i was confident my nigga yeah, i was yeah. taking these fucking no laughs to the face <laughs> <laughs> i was taking it to the face yeah. and i was just like you know what fuck it yeah. and maybe about three three to maybe five years into my shit i, okay. I started shooting social media um like skits and sketches yeah. on instagram like 2016. around that time that's when i started filming uh just like little little one minute shit. then i went over to youtube okay. two years later i worked for instagram two years wasn't making no money but i got hella like people involved you got more clout and more attention to your right business. more attention more yeah, traffic absolutely. which is good absolutely. but now but i was like i need to get like something popping yeah. So let's work on the YouTube, let's work on so Facebook, whatever platform is actually paying attention and giving, like showing love, that as much, you got to think about what you, what you do in everybody's life. So imagine, like, I don't know your world from dick water, my nigga. <laughs> I don't know your world, right? Right. I don't know it. But what you're doing right now, I'm glad, appreciate these moments where you have like uh, not that many subscribers yet, but people are tuning in, they're watching, they're fucking with it. Well, appreciate these moments because <laughs> you're, you're gonna look back, you're gonna look back and be up the fuck there. Imagine how you are in your life and how you affect people in just a, just a, just a positive life. Just imagine a positive life that you give to people Every day, right? right? Now times that shit by 500,000 people, nigga. Uh, you stand here and watch all these people stand behind you. Top shelf. Yes. Shit. Sorry, my hat. My hat. I'm Mess serious out here. Messing up the hat. The whole reason why we came out. You know what? My bad. My bad. Why we speaking about the hat? Let's tell them about this collaboration, y'all. Oh get man, going listen. On, man. Atlanta's showing me so much crazy love, bro. Yeah. So much crazy love. I did a collab with Players Only, bruh. Yeah. They gonna give me my little short set and everything. Okay. You know what I mean? My little outfits. I said, oh yeah, appreciate it. If you ever don't give me the drip. Oops. So did y'all do the collaboration with the hats or just with the clothes too? Hats it's only. gonna be hats and clothes too, Hats yeah. and clothes, okay. Y'all yeah. need to tap in with that, man. Tap in. What are we talking about? Players Only? Players only. We good, boom and pow. Yeah. Um, you do, you, so you're gonna come to my show September 5th at the yeah, Atlanta absolutely. Comedy Theater. Oh, it's in the A. You know we there. Y'all know what's going about? on, man. Atlanta Comedy Theater, September 5th, up there, boom and pow. So, I think show starts at uh seven. Okay. Doors open at seven. Show starts at eight. Okay, y'all already know what's going on. Before we get up out of here, I'm pretty sure the people would love to know. How did you guys come across this collaboration with Players Club? How did that come about? I mean. Real with you, I, I got pretty hooked up by Josh, my yeah. boy, my, my PR. He no just connection. was like, hey, connected like a motherfucker. He was yeah. like, hey, yo, you want to do this? I said, absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Why I not would expand? love to meet people because if that wouldn't happen, I wouldn't have met you. Yeah, I wouldn't have met you. Yeah, I really yeah, wouldn't have. Right, and I don't want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fucking leave. Man, y'all already know what's going on, man. I'm definitely standing here with one of the funniest up-and-coming comedians, man. Y'all know how he is. Go ahead and check out his page. Make sure y'all are at his show. If you're not at his show, what are you doing? What are we talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Jokes? Man. Ain't, ain't shit funny about these jokes. Go ahead and tell me your social media one more time so they can add you. Follow me at the fake Tyree. T-Y-R-H. 
can't stress the silent H enough, guys. Daddy issues. E E T Y R H E E. The fake Tyree. Boom and pow. We good? We good, man. KK checking in for KK's corner. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. You know what's going on. Okay. We good.